an effort to comply with the final regulations of the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, or WIOA for short, this training has been created to provide training providers with an overview of the updated Eligible Training Provider List, or UTPL for short, policy and process, which were recently approved. The Eligible Training Provider List has been around for quite a few years. Under previous legislation, known as the Workforce Investment Act, or WIA, Iowa had a waiver of some of the regulations mandated by that act. This included the requirement for regular review. This meant that once programs were approved and placed on the ETPL, they would stay on the list indefinitely. The application required much less information under WIA as well. The ETPL was managed by keeping the list on a simple spreadsheet which which was accessible on the Iowa Workforce Development website. The Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act was passed in 2014 and includes changes to the ETPL. Some of these changes include the collection of much more information during the application and eligibility process and the requirement of regular reviews which can no longer be waived. Iowa Workforce Development launched a new data management system called Iowa Works on June 3, 2019. This data management system included a specific module for managing the ETPL. The implementation of the system and specific module helped bring the state into compliance with regulations of WIOA. At the time of implementation, Iowa ETPL policy stated that the decision to approve or deny potential programs to be placed on the ETPL was a responsibility of the local workforce development boards. This created the need for a paper application, which training providers completed and submitted to local workforce development boards for approval. If approved, the training program provider would then submit their program through the Iowa Works system. On September 20, 2019, the State Workforce Development Board approved updated policy which shifted the burden of approving programs to state, to state staff within Iowa Workforce Development. This change eliminated the need for providers to first submit a paper application to their local workforce development board for approval before submitting the program through Iowa Works. Providers wishing to have their training program placed on the ETPL can do so by accessing the Iowa Works system at www.iowaworks.gov. If programs meet eligibility requirements outlined in the policy, those programs will will be placed on the ETPL under initial eligibility for one year. Then programs will need to reapply for continued eligibility and do so every two years thereafter. It is important to note that in some cases, the WIOA Title I service provider and some areas will also be a provider of training programs on the ETPL. It is a conflict of interest for Title I service provider staff to manage the ETPL administration for their training institution. Those responsibilities must be clearly separated. Local workforce development boards retain control of which types of programs they are willing to fund by outlining those details in the local plans. Just so because, because a program is approved for placement on ETPL, local boards have the ultimate decision in which types of training programs are funded in their areas. These details are included in the, in the local plans. When changes to programs occur prior to the regular review periods, providers are required to update the program information in the Iowa Works account for their institution and submit those changes for review. This ensures that individuals re researching training providers and programs have access to the most accurate information on the ETPL. It is important to note that there are conditions for removal in which provider and or programs will be removed from the ETPL. Some of the reasons for removal include intentionally submitted in inaccurate data, and there's evidence of this, substantially violating any provision of Title I of WIOA and its regulations, violating state and or local laws, ceasing to be in business and or loss of license to operate, or failing to meet performance levels. Policy does outline an appeal process for providers should one of these conditions require removal of a program from the ETPL. Compliance with ETPL policy will help ensure the state remains in compliance with the final regulations of WIOA. Training providers with questions should contact etpl at iwd.iowa.gov. Thank you.